sixth grade focus mrs jackson here to go over the week four daily language practice answers and understanding with you message me any questions if you need more clarification need some more help okay so check your answers and mark them as correct as we go along number one what is the purpose of an index of a book this is a text feature isn't it an index well, an index helps me to locate topics and their page numbers so I can go back in the research or informational book and find um, the location I need to read to find out about certain topics. So it's to provide a list of topics and page numbers for the reader. And it's always at the back of the book. And the topics are listed in alphabetical order. And if it's a person, that's the topic, then you're going to find the person's last name and then the first name. Question two, choose the correct word to complete the following sentence. When the astronauts landed, the crowd cheered for blank. Okay, we have to go, this is a pronoun and an antecedent question. So our pronoun options are him, her, them or they. Okay, who are we talking about? Who did the crowd cheer for? Go back to your sentence. Astronauts. I'm emphasizing the s plural. So that could be a mix of male and female. And so it can't, the answer can't be him or her. First of all, that only means one person, and that's gender specific. So is it they or them? The crowd cheered for they, or the crowd cheered for them? Them, T-H-E-M. Question three, what is the complete subject of this sentence? So the subject is who or what did the action in this, the sentence? Who is the sentence about? And the complete subject means all the way from the beginning of the sentence, to the action, the verb. Solar energy is the best source of, of power to sustain life in space. What is the sentence about? Life in space? Well, maybe, but that's the end. That's after the verb. What's your verb? Is, I-S, that's your verb. So the subject has to be before the verb. Solar energy energy is your complete subject, solar energy. Question four, choose the correct word to complete the sentence. If you drop the tool, you may blank it. If you drop the tool, you may what it? What are you gonna do? You could loose it, loosen it, lost it, or lose it. You're going to lose it. Well, which spelling is lose? L-O-S-E. Only one O. Because when you put two O's in there, it's loose. Like maybe your jeans or your jacket fits loose. It's not tight. That's not the right word. We're looking for lose, L-O-S-E. Question five, which guide words would be on a dictionary page that includes the word propulsion? Say propulsion, propulsion. One more, propulsion. Propulsion, moving forward. Okay, but guide words on a dictionary page, the first guide word, is the first word that's going to be appear on the dictionary page. And the second guide word is the last word on that dictionary page. And they're all, guide words are always located in the upper right, um, or sorry, upper left hand corner of a dictionary page. And they can help you by quickly finding what page in the dictionary you need to be on. So propulsion, P-R-O-P, prop. Okay, we're looking for that, we're looking for uh, we have to know our alphabet, and we have to make sure propulsion would be between these two words. 
We have prosper, protract. Mm, let's see, pros comes after prop. So no, that can't be it. Proper and proprietor. Those have prop? Maybe, let's keep that in the back of our minds as we read all of our options. Prom and property. Prom, M comes before P, so that can't be it. Last option, proportion or prose? Well, prop and then prose. S does come after P, it could be that. And let's go back to what we originally thought. We were thinking proper and proprietor. Well, propulsion would come after proper, but not proprietor because we're looking at prop and then we're looking at the next letter, U and R. U comes after R. So that can't be the guide words. It has to be proportion and prose would be the guide words here. Question six, choose the correctly spelled verb, verb action to complete the sentence. Three astronauts blank through space. What did three astronauts do through space? Flew, and there's two that sound like flew, traveled or raced. Which one is spelled correctly? I mean, all of those sound okay, but raced has two E's. That can't be right. You only have one E on raced, just E-D. Traveled, two L's. No, it's actually just one L. Those aren't spelled right. So which flu is it? F-L-U or F-L-E-W? Mm, F-L-U is the kind of sickness people get, flu. So that's not it. F-L-E-W is the right answer. Past tense of fly. Question seven. Choose the correct word to complete the sentence. Outer space is a vacuum. So there is no, let's look at our options. Air, air, water, gas. Two of those are homophones, air and air. Um, and then we have water. Well, we're talking about space. So I don't think we're talking about water. Gas, mm, maybe, but the most precise answer is gonna be air. And which air, A-I-R or H-E-I-R? Homophones, sound the same, don't mean the same, not spelled the same. A-I-R is what we're talking about in the atmosphere. H-E-I-R, do you know what that means? If you're an heir to someone, that means you receive heirlooms. You receive things that are passed down to you through generations, okay? All right, question. Are we on eight? Yes, eight. What is the plural of each noun? Plural meaning more than one. Crew and box. Right now those are singular, meaning only one. We want to make them plural, meaning two or more. Crews and boxes. How do we spell those? Crews and boxes. Crews, we just have to add what? S. That's right. Box ends in an X. When a word ends in X, typically the spelling rule is you have to add what two letters? E S. So cruise, C R E W S, is the right cruise. And boxes, B O X E S. Those are your answers. Question nine What does an interrogative sentence do? Say that. Interrogative. And again, interrogative. Interrogative. Interrogative, let's see, I know there are four types of sentence. Declarative, imperative, exclamatory, and interrogative. One of those makes a statement. Which one is it? Declarative, declaring a statement. One of those gives a command. Imperative, 
Like it's imperative that you do this work. It gets, gives you a command to do something to take action. One of those shows excitement with an exclamation mark. Exclamatory. That just leaves one left over, right? Which one asks a question? Oh, interrogative sentences ask a question. That's your answer. Last one, guys, number 10. What is the ISS? Don't go searching on the internet for this. It is in the context clues of this sentence, okay? The International Space Station, in parentheses, ISS, is located in orbit around the Earth. So is the ISS orbit? Well, no. Orbit starts with an O. That's not it. Um, ISS is an abbreviation, isn't it? It's in all caps, and it's just an abbreviation for three words. Okay, then it can't be Earth. Important student section. Hmm. That um, does start with I and S and S, but that's not even in the sentence. International Space Station. That's it, guys. Okay. That's it for week four. Hope you've had a great week and you're enjoying virtual learning. And if you have questions, need some help, message me. Bye.